Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakadash, the honor and true the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the Ruel, and the Thoughts of Truth, among many other things, and salutations to the Sisiya Achim out there that are going out on the highways and hedges to prophesy the downfall of this wicked queen, the man, and that are out there to you know, open up the eyes of so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, the chosen of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. The true Hebrew Israelites, and of course, within the chosen nation is uh, a chosen uh, few, you know, and those are the elect, you know. But the point is, we are the twelve tribes of Israel, man, and we need to give right to be numbered, to be uh, you know uh, numbered, you know, among the elect, man. So, I wanted to go into. Um, First Peter, because already was starting uh, in my previous video was starting in this in uh, First Peter that I went you know, to the Spirit in another uh, way. But uh, Yarrow the Zah, I'm, I'm uh, going to um, something else also now because uh, I wanted to uh, check this uh, First Peter one. Uh, let me start at uh, 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Masiyah. So, we need to get uh, our minds right, you know, have that self control, and have that faith, man, you know, uh, and, you know, to, through that faith, you know, we can get that spiritual power, man, everlasting life. But what do we need to do? We need to, uh, again, we need to clean up our act, man. As obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance. Because the scriptures say, you know, we need to be uh, transformed, right? According to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Let me go into that real quick in Romans 12. Romans 12. Verse uh, 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your, body, your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. And that's what we're doing by going out on the highways and hedges and, you know, uh, getting the, all the nonsense out of our lives, out of our lives, man, you know. No, no more, uh, you know, eating uh, defiled or uh, eating uh, unclean food like uh, shrimp, crab, lobster, you know, pig, you know, no more, uh, uh, you know, growing our beard, no more lining up and all that, you know, living, uh, you know, being in the scriptures, you know, being among uh, like-minded men, going out on the highways and hedges, man. This is a twenty four seven thing. This is a uh, this is our life. This is not something that we just act out or you know as in uh, being a, uh, an actor, a hypocrite. Basically, you act the part of uh, some uh, one or something that you ain't uh, really about. This is what we do. This is not an act. This is what we do. You know, as an as uh, you know to ref uh, this is not an act. It's to refer to. These uh, performers in Hollywood, you know, they are just uh, playing a, a, a role. And then they, you know, after the, the movie's done, they go back into uh, their nonsense. <laughs> Even while the movie is being shot. <laughs> but yeah, that's a whole other thing. But y'all you get the point, you know, this is what we do, man. This is not something that we, uh, that we just uh, bullshit about. This is serious, man. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may be uh, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. And again, it is about you know the things that are acceptable unto the heavenly Father, man. You know that is what we need to be uh, doing. And it also goes into uh, you know the book of Sirach also has a precept concerning that. We see in Sirach uh, chapter two. 
verse um let me get it here in the sword it wasn't in the Bear with me for a moment Where was it yeah it's the rock chapter two verse um fifteen and we started that one they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. And what is love? The keeping the law, such and commandments, man. Yeah. They that fear, let me get that one, the precept. Let me see, First Peter 4, Verse 19, wherefore let him, it's like, wherefore let them suffer. Uh, it's like, wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. You know, you, you might go to some things, but it is all, you know, those who came to serve uh, Yahweh Bashan Yashai. You know, we're going to uh, go to some things, man, as is this uh, uh in verse 12, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. This is, uh, you know, to test you and to see uh, it's a character uh, builder. You know, going to some things and, you know, the most High is going to uh, see what you're going to be uh, doing, man. And for you, this is, uh, you're going to get tested and... You're gonna be built up in in character and in faith. If you um, and sometimes, yeah, you might fail the test, but you get back up again, man, and pray for uh, forgiveness, for mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and to be strengthened and to um, get stronger, so you can get through certain things without uh, like murmuring or uh, giving up or you know. Thinking uh, without making haste in time of trouble, basically, man. You know, you're gonna be you're, you're being stabilized in the, in the in the spirit, man. Getting that sound mind. This is all a, a process, man. It's not the most high. If you ask for something for patience, you're gonna go to things that require patience. You know, to give one example. So, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Which is, to, which is to try you as some as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of uh, Masyach Yahushai's sufferings, that when his uh, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Yeah, man. That's what we uh, are, are going through. We're going to, uh, uh, you know, um, we are suffering in this uh, hell hole. But the Most High makes it, uh, you know, bearable, like in the book of uh, Corinthians, man, First Corinthians, uh, ten and thirteen, or thirteen and ten. But the point is, the servant is not greater than his master, and you know, Yahweh Shai, he suffered, and if you follow his footsteps, you know, through the Spirit, you're gonna suffer too, man. You're gonna be persecuted too, man. You know, but we have to go through this because this is the way of Israel, like in the book of uh, Second Ezra, the seventh chapter. You know, if Acts 14 and 22, there's many scriptures uh, that show you that through many trials and tribulations, we have to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. And that will make it much sweeter. Because if you get everything without working for it, without suffering, it's like, uh, you know, a spoiled child that you won't, you know, you won't see the value of uh, of, of the real value and the real, uh, uh, you know, beauty without really uh, working for it and suffering uh, suffering for it, man. So, to get back to Sarah 2, verse, um, um, to continue in verse 16, they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that, uh, so that, that is something that um, be... You no, know, we are seeking the things. If you uh, fear Yahweh Basham Yahusha, you're gonna do the things uh, that will make the Most High happy, man. Because what happened when we did not do that? 
Or if we don't do that, you get judged, man. So, let me go to uh, the book of Hebrews. Because what, what had us... Uh, um, we went off and went into captivity. We were given into the hands of our enemies before, uh, because we didn't hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Basham Yahushai and did not do his will. You know, being rebellious, you know, uh, sacrificing unto devils. You know, that's why our, our, our people were put in the hands of our enemies. Again, this is... Uh, Hebrews 13, uh, let me start at 20. Now the power of peace that brought again the, uh, from the dead our Lord Yahweh Shai, the great shepherd, uh, shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, true Yahweh Shai Masiach, to whom be glory forever and ever a month. So through uh, the uh, through the Lord, we are able to uh, you know uh, walk this uh, walk this path, man. Because to the Lord, we had uh, our way back to the Lord uh, to the to the heavenly Father Yahweh. Because the Most High didn't uh, you know we were cast away, but through the mercy of Yahweh Shai of Yahweh Basham Shai. We can uh, now pray, and our prayers are being presented uh, to the Heavenly Father by the mediator that we have in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which is a very uh, beautiful thing. And a brother made a video about that, how, uh, you know, if you think about it, that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is presenting your prayer unto the Lord. That is a, you know, that is a, 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 I don't even have words for it, how, how this is a very great thing. You know, but let me see. Um, let me go to uh, if I had something else here, but then I'm gonna go back to Romans, First John, chapter three. Let me go to the point and verse 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. You know, so it's, it's very important, man, to not uh, go against the will of the Heavenly Father. But let me uh, go back. To the book of um, Romans, Romans uh, 12, verse uh, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that uh, prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. So we need to be transformed. You know, we need to uh, change because that old man... You know, who was built in a world full of uh, wickedness and lust and without the true understanding. You know, we made certain, we basically built something that was built with a mind that was uh, according to the deceitful lust. You know, so that needs, needs to change, man. We need to uh, become a new uh, creature, a new uh man or woman you know um, as you know for the aqua that are, are watching for the sisters you know you, sh you need to leave that that uh, demonic uh, behavior behind man and become a new uh, person in the spirit of Yahweh Basham Shai. so don't be conformed to this world and conform goes into to conform oneself into, it goes into uh, the word that says Sitchim Matizo to conform oneself, i.e., one's mind and character to another's pattern, fashion oneself, uh, oneself according to. So, and the Most High ain't down with this world, man. If you are, uh, you know, 
If we love the, the world that is enmity with the Most High, the Most High hates that man. It goes into the Strongs. It goes into um, basically to fashion the like, conform to the same pattern. Yeah, to conform to a fashion. So, so you are being, uh, you have been shaped according to the things in this world, but we need to let that go and be transformed. It goes into metamorpho to change into uh, another's form, to transform, to transfigure. And yes, yeah, it goes into the uh, transfiguration, uh, you know, as Yahweh Shire appearance was changed and was resplendent with divine brightness on the Mount of Transfiguration. And it goes into uh, to transform literally or figuratively a metamorphosis. And metamorphosis, you know, you have these shows that, you know, they do it with their own new look and you have a new uh, haircut. We doing it, uh, we are changing the inward man, you know, according to the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And that goes into, um, let me go into that also real quick. Ephesians chapter 4. Let me go to 22. And it goes into that you put off con uh, concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the, the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Now let me go into this word here. Let me see if it goes into the same. Be renewed. It goes into an anil to renew in the mind. And that is the thing that we are doing. Same thing with the fringes. If you have fringes on, you sleep in it, you, you, everything has fringes around you, but you're still that old nigga, basically. It doesn't, it makes no damn sense. It is about your mind. Your spirit needs to be, uh, you know, according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So, let me go back. Um, so, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, that, and that you put on the new man, which after Yahweh is created in righteousness and true holiness, wherefore putting away lying, some people say, oh, you, 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 you do, you know, you can lie, whatever. Speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another, because lying goes into many, uh, you know, creates many troubles, man. You know, so let me go back to the book of uh, First Peter. So not here. Using this new tablet. So the phone be jacked up. Uh, let me see. First Peter 1, verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end of uh, hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Masiach, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your in your in your ignorance. So you see, not according to that old convo. No, being obedient children. And we'll go into that as well. To have the children of disobedience, which are following the, the, the prince of the power uh, of the air. Which is Satan. You know, if you go to Ephesians 2. But here, obedience goes into uh, obedience, uh, compliance, submission. You know, you are, are you need to humble yourself and follow the uh, the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. And how do you do that? You know, you 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 pray, of course. You know, you you watch the videos, you apply the word in your life to the best of your ability. But first you need to be taught to understand how you apply this word in your life, you know, the, the scriptures, to you to the best of your ability without being overly righteous and destroying yourself, you know, and not being overly wicked as the scriptures say. But 
It's all about balance, man. The false balance is an abomination with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But um, o uh, obedience rendered to anyone's counsels, and that's also, you know, <laughs> you need to be taught. You see? And obedience shown in observing the requirements of you know, Christianity, in which uh, the Christians goes, uh, goes into uh, the followers of the anointed, basically, man, because that's uh, what the apostles were called at Antioch. You know, they were called Christians there first, which a Christian goes into, uh, Christian goes into uh, anointed. But we are following the anointed one, the we are following Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So, let me see. It goes into uh, attentive hearkening, i.e. by impl uh, implication, compliance, or submission, obe obedience, make obedient, obeying. So, let me go back. Here also goes into, again, obedience rendered to anyone's counsels. So, you know, that's how you get wisdom, man. You need to attend uh, these uh, wise councils. And you can do that by watching the apostles and elders and the Zuquan bishops, man. So, let me go on. You need to watch the videos, you know, make notes and, you know, get these, uh, get the understanding, man. Write these breakdowns down. You know, and try to uh, do that frequently, man. You know, as as much as it's lie as it is lying within you, according to the gift that you have received through uh, the spirit of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, because this is something that the Most High has given. Uh, you know, the ones that He has preordained to receive. Uh, you know, this uh, faith. This uh, you know, according to Ephesians two and eight on down. But let me continue here. And verse uh, 14 again, as obedient children, not fastening yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance. Let me also go into that, by the way. In your ignorance, agnoia, agnoia lack of knowledge, ignorance. And what does it do the scriptures say? Let me go into that real quick. Uh, after this, uh, especially, so lack of knowledge, ignorance, especially of divine things, of moral blindness. So, you no know, being ignorant of, again, lack, uh, lack of knowledge, ignorant, especially of divine things. And that's why our people are, in, uh, are destroyed, man. Hosea 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for, a la for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And this is something that uh, has happened because of our disobedience unto the Lord. He took everything away from us, man. Our heritage, he gave us in the, into the hands of, of the basis of all men, the basis of men, these Edomites, the so-called Caucasians, the so-called white men. So, but the point that I wanted to uh, get out here is, you know, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, as... Now that you find uh, that now that you have found uh, the Lord, seek him ten times more. Get all uh, be be all in. You know, without wavering. Ask for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So, you know, so you can grow, man. So um let me go back in first Peter one, verse uh, fifteen. But as he which had called you is holy so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Yeah, man, that is what we are striving towards. 
being, uh, uh, you know, striving, we striving to, uh, perf uh, towards perfection, you know, separating ourselves by uh, um, following, you know, the law, sets and commandments by the best, uh, to the best of our ability, having faith in Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, man. Of course, faith comes with works. Because faith without works is dead. But um, let me go into another scripture concerning this uh, that I wanted to get out. Let's see. It's also in 2 Peter, but another one. Let me... Then I'm going to wrap it up. Um, Second Peter goes at three and ten. And let me see. So lucky let me. So continue with you. Let me see. Second Timothy 2 and 4. No man that wore it entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. You see, so that's what we uh, are, you know, keeping in mind. You know, this world, you know, like the Apostle Paul said, I counted it but done to gain Yahweh Shai. Because that is what we're doing. We want to please Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And, you know, of course, we want to uh, be in the kingdom. You know, as the elder Malcolm said, you know, I want it all. <laughs> That's what we want, man. But, you know, in, in righteousness, you know, to rule, to have, 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 have peace, have land, maybe even a whole, you know, uh, have cities or a whole world. You know, in my father's house are many mansions. That's what Yahweh Shai said. And the mansion, uh, you know, the mansion speaks about these worlds, man. Because once one shall become, uh, you know, uh, uh, a whole nation of a thousand, you know, a nation. We we gonna have nations, man. So we need these planets, man. But um, to roughly paraphrase the scriptures, man. So lucky for butchering it, but you know, let me go to um, go. Uh, let me go to the last one. Concerning the holy conversation and well, let me get one more. This is um let me see, this is Philippians three, verse 12, let me start a little bit uh, down, verse 13, uh, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this thing, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, because that's all part of the old man, and reaching forth unto those which are before, and that's the, the focus, it's going to say, I press toward the mark, for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh in Yahweh Shai Masiach, in Masiach Yahweh Shai. Let us therefore, as many uh, as be perfect, be thus minded, and, in, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, Yahweh shall reveal even this unto you. So, yeah. You know, so. We are pressing towards the mark, and the mark is that that price, man. We are have we have our eye single, and the mark, which goes into Scopus, an observer, a watchman, the distant mark looked at. We are here uh, the goal or end, one has in view. You know, and that's what we uh, we have a goal in mind. We want to make it, man. We want to make it out of this hell. So I press towards the mark. And we go to the prize. Brabion goes into the uh, the award to the victor in the games, a prize. Because we are running this race, right? Like uh, the Apostle Paul uh, was saying in the metaphor. 
and it goes into metaphorically of the heavenly reward for uh, a Christian character, you know, for, uh, you know, being in holy conversation, you know, set apart. Being a part of, a, a, you know, we, we are a holy nation, but we need to walk according to the standard that the Most High has set up through his law, and commandments, through these, uh, uh, through these uh, scriptures, man. And it goes into, uh, here it goes into that, uh, an award of uh, arbitration, or arbitration, especially, i.e. especially, a prize in public games, like uh, the Apostle Paul went into in 1 Corinthians 9, if I'm correct. But to go back, not to stretch it, but, uh, you know, let me go back and end it with... Second Peter, because you know we see the day coming, man. Second uh, Peter three. Let me go down to uh, nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but long suffering. To us, word not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yeah, man, the Most High wants us to give right, you know, and the reward will come. Because many people they lost patience. Woe unto him that uh, that uh, has lost patience, man. To roughly paraphrase the Book of Sirach. Because in the in the day of trouble, you will not be defended, man. You will perish, man. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, because there's going to be nuclear missiles dropping, man. Chariots going to be blasting people to powder, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. But the world won't be destroyed because the earth abided forever, according to the book of Ecclesi uh, Ecclesiastes. But the point, this is what I wanted to bring out. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements sh shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. The earth is going to be refreshed. Because if I'm correct, the word new here goes into kainos. Which means uh, refresh. Let me see. Yeah. New as, uh, as respects form, recently made fresh. With reason unused, unworn. See, fresh. Because it's also in, in Revelation, also goes into, uh, you know, Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were, were passed away, and there was no more sea. Let me see. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh unto, uh, uh, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Yeah, man. And that is what it is, man. Uh, this whole world will be refreshed. It's just like with uh, a new name, yeah, in this, uh, Revelation 3 and, and, and 12, him that overcome it will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, Yahweh, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name. The most, uh, everyone will know the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Because the name of the Lord will not change. No, I'm, I'm the Lord and I change not, remember? So there's only one name given among men whereby we must be saved. That, uh, that is the name of Yahweh, Bahasham, in the name of Yahweh Shai. So let me go back. So basically, you know, this is... Uh, what I wanted to bring out, 
you know, seeing again, verse 11, seeing, and you know, Second Peter 3 and 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness. You now we, we are hastening the day, hastening is to desire earnestly. You know, then we go into the word holy. This goes into Hagios. Most holy thing is saint, and the saint is the Israelite, according to Psalm 50 and 5. You know? And it goes into um, uh, sacred, physically pure, morally blameless, or religious, ceremonial, ceremonially consecrated, most holy one uh, thing, saint. So, you know, we are uh, striving to be, uh, you know, um, in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, you know, we are striving towards perfection. We are purifying, we are being purified by going through, uh, you know, adversity, but reading these scriptures and, be, and being in the spirit, being guided by the spirit, we are going towards, you know, being, uh, 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 you know, perfect. That's what we strive for again. But yeah, man. So with that, I hope you're edified. Yahweh Desire to the next video. Shalom.